This week, the Renota House is holding an exciting event that includes music, drinks, art, and several other activities. A special after hours event for those 21 and older. And here to tell us more about it is Brittany Norton, the Director of Marketing and Communications. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning. And I wanted to just start out and ask you, you know, for those who are new to Winston-Salem or not familiar with Renota House, can you tell us what Renota is real quick? Yes, Renolda is the historic estate of RJ and Catherine Reynolds of RJ Reynolds Tobacco. It was built in 1917 and today's visitors enjoy pretty much three primary experiences. You can shop and dine in Renolda Village. Uh, we have formal gardens that you can stroll and use the hiking grounds and you can also visit the house which is now a museum filled with world-renowned American art. It's the Renolda House Museum of American Art. Uh, it has original family furnishings and special exhibitions uh, throughout the year. All right, and this week you're having a special after hours event called Drinks at Dusk. Um, that will take place at the house and could you tell us a little bit about the activities that are planned for that event? Yes, uh, this Wednesday is the Drinks at Dusk. Uh, it's really a way for us to activate the house after the sun sets. Um, as you mentioned, it is for ages 21 and up. We will have a live DJ to provide music. We'll do a scavenger hunt throughout the house so you have a chance to win some fun prizes. There will be food trucks, uh, Brash Brownies and Urban Street Grill are going to be joining us. Uh, tickets are $25. They do include uh, two tickets to have um, drinks or specialty cocktails, and it's just a fun night to explore the museum, get to know Renolda um, with some adult beers. So where did, the, where did the idea come from for this event? You know, why is it important, especially after hours, the hostess? We wanted to provide a fun and interesting way to uh, explore the museum. We are typically closed at 430, so you don't really get to see this historic setting after the sun sets. And Renolda is always changing. So if you've been or you haven't been in a while, there's something new to explore. Um, you can still go and see the exhibition that's on view now, Smith and Libby. Uh, there are new galleries in the historic bedrooms, uh, one of which is a portrait gallery that's in collaboration with Wake Forest. It has three centuries of um, portraits from a mid 18th century John Singleton Copley to a 1972 work by uh, Kwame Brathwit. Uh, we've just recently opened the ping pong room in the basement for people to play and enjoy. And we've not really had a hands on experience at Renolda like that before. Um, so we think the drinks at dusk is a perfect way for people to start to explore what the museum is today. Now, earlier this year, we talked about some of the new Smith and Libby exhibitions on the show. Could you tell us more about that and what the galleries um, that people are going to see while they're there? Yes, um, if you're familiar with that story, uh, Z Smith Reynolds was the youngest son of RJ and Catherine, um, who was shot on the estate. And so that exhibition actually explores his life um, and his marriage to a Broadway star, Libby Holman, um, who was charged with the murder at the time in 1932, and those charges were dropped. And so this exhibition is a way to explore that story, explore her life after that incident. Um, she was actually really active in the civil rights. And again, some other galleries through the house that you can explore if you're a history buff like me. We still have the Still I Rise ex exhibition that's been extended. It talks about the Black experience at Renolda um, and sort of chronicles how Black art began to become into the collection um, and what we've been doing on that front through archives and photographs um, and things of that nature. So a lot of great galleries and exhibitions that you can explore um, on Wednesday. All right. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun and I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning and um, definitely everybody should get out there and enjoy that. And once again, Drinks at Dusk will be held at Renota House in Winston-Salem this Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. Tickets are $25 and can be purchased in advance or at the door. We'll have that information and that will be on our website, WXII12.com.